In this video, we're going to go over OpenAI's Swarm Framework, which is a multi-agent orchestration framework. So it allows us to use multiple agents easily. So we're going to go through a few demos and run some evals. Okay, so we're going to run this command to install Swarm. Okay, so we have two agents in here. We have an English agent and a Spanish agent. What it does is this function will transfer to the Spanish agent immediately when you speak Spanish. So we can run Python main.py and you can see it went directly to Spanish and if we say hello you can see it goes to the English one. Okay, so we have our weather agent and in here we can see the agents. It has a get weather function. It also has a send email function. This is just for us to make sure that it's calling the right function. It's kind of like a test. So what we'll do is run python run.py and we can say get the weather. And it calls the function and it says the current temperature. So right now it's hard coded in here. We don't have any like external APIs connected, but if we were to connect an external API, we'd put it in this function right here. All right, and we also have evals over here. So this right here will test the weather calls and make sure that we get the get weather function out of it. And then this one is just to make sure that we don't get any tool calls out. So all you have to do is run pytest evals.py and it will run all six of them. And they all six passed. Okay, so we're gonna go over an airline agent. This is a customer support agent. So in here we have the customer details that we're gonna provide in context. And then we also have their flight context as well. And over here we have our agents. So these are the transfer functions. Like this one will transfer to the triage agent. And then here are the instructions for that. And then we have our triage agent over here. We have our instructions and then we have the functions. And here's a flight modification agent, the flight cancel agent, the flight change agent, and then the lost baggage agent. Then over here, we have the tools. So escalate to agent, valid to change flight, change flight, initiate refund, initiate flight credits, case resolved, and initiate baggage search. And then here are the prompts as well. So we have the triage system prompt, we have the starter prompt, and then we have the policies. So this is for the customer support. This is the flight cancellation policy, the flight change policy, and here are the baggage ones, the starter prompt and the lost baggage policy. And you'll see these over here in the instructions being added in. Okay, so to start it, just run python main.py. See, it knows my name because it's right there. We'll ask it what the balance is. It's the zero dollars right there. Okay, let's ask it when's the upcoming flight. Yep, so I got it right. Let's say I lost my bag. So it goes to the triage agent, it calls the transfer to lost baggage. The lost baggage agent comes in and initiates the baggage search and it says that my baggage has been found. All right, so we'll say I wanna cancel my flight. Okay, so now it transferred me to the right agent. It's asking me to confirm. Okay, so now it says it's initiated the refund. It'll be processed in three to five business days. And it called that function. So this is a good way to show like how you can have a customer support agent helping you and taking actions like in your business. Okay, so we're going to cd into the evals folder, and then we're going to run python 
function evals.py and then we'll see the evals start running. So that was tested perfectly. Same with that round. I want to cancel my flight. Those ones worked. So it's good to have evals before you push things into production. And you'll see the results pop up in here. All right, so I tested 100% on both of them. You can see the flight modification results. And then you can also see the triage results. All right, so we created a simulated trading environment. So we have the user account. They have a balance of $10,000. We have their positions in here. We'll get the stock price using Y Finance. And then we'll be able to place a trade, a simulated trade. And then we can get the open trades. We can get the account information. And then we have a stock agent right here. And we have a trade agent, which will place the trade and get account information. And then a history agent, which can get open trades and get the account info as well. When we, and then we have a triage agent, which will decide which one to pick. And then down here, we have the conversation and we just append everything to the conversation. So that way it stays in context. Okay, so we're gonna run Python main.py and then we'll ask it, what's the price of Amazon? Okay. Also gave us some background information, but it says the price right here. Let's say buy 10 shares. Okay, so now my account balance is $8,155. Let's just ask it. Let's see, show me the trades. So we have a buy of 10 shares of Amazon. Okay, we'll say sell those. I've successfully placed the sell trade and now your balance is $10,001. So this is a good framework that you can use if you wanna develop something like this and keep adding on to it and add more functions and actually add like real world stuff to it. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.